All right, guys, welcome back to Shenmue 2. Wow, we were only unconscious for about three days? Felt like a lot longer than that. <clears throat> Listen to this beautiful music, guys. ついたみたいね。シュエさん。どうせ。手当てはしておいたけど、まだ無理しないで。ここ あなたは邪道に落ちてはいけない。俺は行かなきゃならないんだ。うん、interesting。ここは。白線路だよ。白線路。うん。レンガアジトで待ってる。あ。わかった。そうですか。しかし葉月さんがご無事で何よりでした。てめえがドンクセイから主言だとか時計の手にウォーデーバディ。主言だつの居場所が分かったよ。ランテに引き渡すためか。ランテ急がないと主の身に危険が。でもどうやって高天堂へ高天堂は都議の根城だ。部活には近づけねえ。しかし、やめたやめた。相手がランテじゃ悪いがわね。小田倉は欲しいが
We finally found Zhu Yuanda, this enigmatic figure that we have been searching for since the first game, and we immediately let him get captured by Dong Yu. But, you know, perhaps more importantly than that, uh, we finally get a little bit more information about Zhu Wing and her brother, who we learned a little bit about before, but uh, didn't really get specific details. So it turns out that her brother is a lot like us. Their parents were murdered, he set off on a bloodthirsty quest for vengeance, and then was quote-unquote lost to the dark side. Which kind of explains why she's so invested in what we are doing and how she you know, doesn't want us to follow the same path and, and lose ourselves like her brother. It's uh, pretty interesting if you ask me. But anyways, alright, we're finally back out here. We've got control back. And we need to see if we can get into the Yellowhead building. That is where Donyu's hideout is. Sneak in and save Zhu Yuanza. Because we know it's going to be that simple, right? Oh wait, check it out. Yellowhead building right in front of us. Okay, let's see what happens here. You bastards. Okay. So we're not going to be able to get in there. I think I mentioned earlier in this Let's Play that the Yellowhead building is kind of the central building in this whole area. It's actually not insanely difficult to find the entrances to scope out. You kind of just have to hug the wall and keep running around in a big circle. And I guess Ren's out too. I thought I had a friend in Ren, but apparently not because I guess this whole thing is just a little too hot for him now, guys. So let's see. That is not a door. Yellowhead building. The sign is red, so it throws me off. <laughs> Okay, starting to sense a pattern here. You know, <laughs> it's another one of those deals where you go through this entire game just pretty much beating the ever-loving crap out of anybody who gets in your way. I don't know why Rio is so reluctant to just fight these two guys with bow staffs. I fought 70 people in a harbor before, and one of them had a metal pipe. I think I could handle two guys with wooden sticks. But I digress. We must continue the search. Um, I think we want to actually skirt right by there and go this way. Dim sum quarter. Yeah, it's like one entrance per quarter. So if we keep hugging the wall here and just skim around. Here we go. You can also look for the guys holding the staffs because they're the same everywhere. よそのの交渉わけにはいかねえ。切れ。まだこんなところついてんのか。レ。確か。他にも入り口があったはずだ。こんなところにいても拉致が開かねえ。他の方法を探すぞ。お前とはもう関係ないはずだ。気が変わったんだよ。何？てめえの金の匂いは半端じゃねえからな。はあ、勝手にしろ。おい、行くぞ。どこへ
BF2, Wolf 1. Alright. Let's go one more, guys. Oh. BF2, Pi 1. Okay. I guess not. So, Ren told us that we should check out the tea shops in everywhere but the stand quarter because that's where he's going to investigate. And as Zhang told us, we're going to need to rely on the Chawan sign that we learned way back in Aberdeen, if you guys remember. So, unlike in that section of the game, there's actually no extra side content or interesting things you can do with the Chawan sign. You just have to do it in the right place. If you don't do it in the right place, nothing will happen. And I'm like 99% certain that the right place is actually right here at the Nihao Tea House. And look, four conveniently placed cups. Alright, it's been a while since I did this. Let's see, we want to go down with that one, up with that one, and then we wait. Nailed it. Huh, we got a note from somebody who was clearly not Zhang, but somebody working for Zhang, I guess. I mean, theoretically, we don't actually know that. But this is now the only clue we have, guys. We must go to the Moonchild building. Room 503, which, if you recall, is actually the same building where Yuan lives. So that's kind of interesting, isn't it? wonder if we're walking into a trap here. You know, that's kind of Ryo's main problem throughout this entire video game is... <laughs> he just can't stop blundering into traps. Yep, I got it. I mean, that's why Zhu Yuan Da got captured. That's why I got knocked unconscious for three days. That's why all the bad things happen. It's just because I don't think ahead. All right, elevators. Looks like this one actually stops on every floor in this building. How convenient is that? Let's take a ride, guys. It's not often that the elevators actually just work for you. So let's take advantage of it. Although I do think this is kind of a weird layout. It starts down here and then moves up and then goes to the right and back down to move in sequential order. I don't know, I've never seen a, a button layout like that on an elevator. Maybe it's a Chinese thing? I don't know. That doesn't even make sense to me either because I'm fairly certain that in China they read from right to left, unlike in English, which reads left to right. But I could be wrong about that. Anyways, we're looking for 503. Should be relatively close here. 508, 奥下のなら、ここで帰られるがよい。I love the framing of that shot right there. No fear, guys. None at all. お手合わせを願えるかな?この暗闇で闇ならばこそ腕のほどがわかる。All right, buddy, you asked for it. My Idrizo. I'll have you know I'm a martial arts master and I've recently learned many deadly techniques. Oh, oh wait, okay. I can still see you. I can hit you, don't worry. I'm gonna give you a machine gun fist. Except, can't seem to lock on. Ow! 
that was okay you got lucky with that one I don't know how that missed okay this guy's actually pretty good ow just kicked me in my spleen yet another martial arts master that we can't lay a hand on guys He's just toying with us. Punching me in the face. The thing that's interesting about this fight is you actually can't even lock onto him. So there's like no hope at all. Dick. Kokoro <laughs> Stay calm to make the right decision. So, Yami no Nakade, many Tayot Tewanaran Satsune Wokeshi, Kokoro no Mede Miro no Jia. Okay, so the whole point of this part here is we're supposed to try and land a hit on this guy while he dodges around in the darkness. It's actually quite difficult. You have to sort of almost predict where he's going to be and then strike ahead of time. <laughs> but as you can see, there's not much indication that you get. You're actually not meant to be able to do this right away. The longer you stay at it, the more attuned Ryo will become. And you'll get kind of a... kind of a larger heads up about where he's going to be. We need to see with our mind's eye, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get tricksy on me. Oh, I almost had him there. Got him! Special move? Predictive explosion? That sounds awesome. Hey, we know that guy. あなたは呼吸器の目が見えるんですか。やはり岩尾殿のご子息でしたか。親父を知ってるんですか。20年ほど前ですかな。岩尾殿がここを訪れたのは。親父が岩尾殿は。中国憲法に興味を持っておられた。私たちは意気投合し、互いに技を交換したものです。岩尾殿は達者ですかな。うん。殺されました。死ゆうもの乱帝という男に。殺された。乱帝に。なんということだ。あの岩尾殿が。少々と鳥の声に響く。君行くや。騒音落ちて涙流る。
なきお父上のために私にできることがあれば主元達という人をご存知ですかお父上の死と何か関係がはい主元達は今高天楼にとらわれています高天楼といえば高天界のアジト侵入する方法はありますかうん一つだけ方法が。この男は後天界のスカウトマンですスカウトマン四十門に送り込むための優秀な憲法家を探している男です彼にスカウトされれば後天牢に入れるはずどうすればストリートファイトで勝ち続ければおそらくストリートファイトで Okay. So go win some street fights and impress the scout. You know, street fights are something I'm actually half decent at. That may be doable. Something I'm not decent at is navigating these buildings. But, uh. Yeah, that's cool, guys. So that, that dude who was playing the Chinese fiddle out there was a little bit more than he seemed. And,、uh, it's one of those deals where I don't think the game ever actually tells you that guy's name. But I can tell you that his name is Kai. And I just know that from being involved with this game for 20 years. <laughs> But I don't think it's ever like, expressly stated in the game.、Um, you know how I talked about like, in Shenmue 1, they had these, these big elaborate profiles for like, every NPC in the game that just told you、uh, like, everybody's name and backstory and history and blood type and all that good stuff. And they didn't do that for everybody in this game, but they did do it for like, anyone who was even remotely relevant to the story, like that guy. And、um, I believe it was posted on like, Sega's website way back in the day. So that's where you get that kind of information from, even though the game never tells you. In any case, guys, so now what we need to do is just go around to random street fights and see about kicking some ass. I can see already. That scout is hanging out right over there. He's going to be in every Street Fight area you go to. You don't have to, like, learn his schedule and figure out where he's going to be and all that stupid crap. That's just. That'd be too much. <laughs> very good, very good. ここにいる甲州公はただの達人じゃねえぞ山ごもりの最中にトラッと出くわしそれを素手で仕留めた豪傑だその時に失った片目こそ勇者の勲章だぜ掛け金20ドルの一本勝負だ制限時間は60秒さあ誰かこの豪傑に挑戦したやつはいねえか Well I've already kicked the crap out of him before so this shouldn't be that hard It probably will be. Okay. So, same deal as before. Get behind him or to his,、uh, his left side, and you'll be able to land hits on him because he just goes. He just goes full idiot and has no idea what to do. <laughs> But you do have to be careful not to get wrung out while you're doing that. Because it can happen if you're not careful. Oh wow, he blocked my throw. Even though I was behind him. What a jerk. All right, let's be careful here. Yeah, double blow, FT dubs. First person double blow. It's my favorite porn DVD. 
訓練もまだまだかすげえな兄ちゃんほらよイエイ And this guy's impressed. What's up, Cool Z? Oi, need it, Z? Kiko Yarujanica. Ma, what in the Tereba? Oh, my no Tebama Nagata Ketona. Yeah, okay, buddy. It is too bad that you never actually get to fight him. You get to fight everyone else in Ren's gang, but not him. So, we have impressed the scout, but just not quite enough yet. We need to go find more street fights. And impress him more. So there's actually a uh, sort of a behind the scenes point system in regards to how this works. I don't know the exact values, guys. I can't really tell you everything about it. But I know for a fact that every street fight has like a point value assigned to it. And then. This is not where I want to be. <laughs> no, shut up. No, no, no. I should not have come here. It was a mistake. Basically, every street fight you win gives you a point value. And it's different for every street fight. Like, some are worth one, some are worth three, some are worth five. And then once you win enough street fights and win enough behind-the-scenes points, that's when you will trigger the uh, appreciation of the scout and impress him enough that he will trigger the next part of the story. This is the part I was looking for right here. This is the area I was looking for. So yeah, um, the one that we just did, the fight with the half-blind guy, I'm pretty sure that's actually one of the highest values. Okay, I, I was wrong again. This is not the area I was looking for. Uh, we gotta go the other way. Down this, this way. This should be a street fight down here, I think. So yeah, generally speaking, you really only have to do, like, three? No, this brought me back out here. Here we go. Back this way. Nope, this is Dragon Street. Okay, this is what I've been looking for for the last minute. I just couldn't find it. Let's see, where's the scouts? Can we see him here? Oh, yeah, there he is. He's hanging out back there behind everybody. テスト賞の達人だぜ。長年期待たその賞だは一撃で牛を倒すって代物だ。この男と勝負するウデジマンはいないか。掛け金30ドルの一本勝負だ。制限時間は30秒。さあ、誰か勇気ある挑戦者は
たちへここにいるのはモンゴル相撲のつわものたちだナダンおうアーゴンふん<笑>そしてウズンルールは簡単こいつらから制限時間まで逃げ切れれば勝ち捕まったら負けだ最初はナダムと勝負掛け金10ドルの一本勝負だ制限時間は30秒さあ我と思わん者は手を挙げてくれ Alright, I'm gonna give this a shot, guys, but I might lose this one. w h a t I got off? Yo, Kimari, that. Take a guess, you know, do it. This fight is in like direct conflict with my fighting style because I tend to be aggressive, you know? But with this guy, we need to actually avoid getting grabbed by him. Or if we're really lucky, we can ring him out, but that's not gonna happen very easily. Oh no, oh no. See, he does that lunge attack. You gotta watch out for that. If you get grabbed by that, it is all over. No! Oh, nice try, buddy. No! 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 I did it! Wait, do I have to do this to impress the scout? Because I don't want to. Oh. You know what? That's too bad. I guess you have to go through all three of them to impress the scout there. I've never actually done that before, so I didn't realize. And, uh... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Let's go find an easier one. <laughs> There should be one right back here, actually. I am glad that I got to at least do like the first level of that, but I would just rather do another one. I don't feel like doing two more of those that I will probably lose because they become even more difficult. Instead, we'll go to the construction base. Yeah, that guy really gets around. Yeah, I'm in for this. Alright. So this guy is kind of similar to the guy we just fought in the sense that you really got to avoid his big attack. But the stakes aren't nearly as high because if you get hit by it, it does a lot of damage, but you don't instantly lose. And also, you can use Brawling Uppercut to ring him out like that. <laughs> That'll do it right there. Now, I'll bet you when we go to leave here... Dragon Street at sundown. Wait, I'm not sure what time it is. Uh, yeah, it's only a little after five o'clock, so we can teleport straight there and wait and continue the story immediately. But I would actually like to take this opportunity to show you guys. A couple more things that I know about in this game 
since we're actually right here, this is a pretty okay time to do it. Um, we can't take the elevator up there, sadly. But what we're going to do is come in here into the Thousand White Building. And, oh, actually, you know what? Let's start down here. I'm actually not 100% sure where this is, but I'm pretty sure somewhere in this building we can find a place to do a little bit of work if you're so inclined. Much like the crate moving back in Wanshai. Oh, that's not it. Oh, you know what? I think it's right through any of these doors right here. This is the Thousand White Warehouse. And yeah, you guys hear that music? It's uh, the exact same shit. If you ever need to make some money, you can come in here and talk to this lady right here. This uh, dominatrix-looking lady right here. <laughs> ここじゃ力のある人は大抵アームレスリングかストリートファイトに行っちゃうでしょだからうちはいつでも人手不足なのそうなんですか無理にとは言わないけどその気になったら声をかけて分かりました待ってるわよ。cool thanks lady and if you decide to move crates here you will get uh, a crate moving partner it's not Dellen, it's another guy who goes by the name Congo, and uh, he's he's kind of entertaining, but frankly, he's just not as cool as Dellen was. So, it's not something that I ever really tend to do, because at this point in the game, you never really need to do that. And there is the jukebox in there, but it doesn't actually work when you're moving crates. Like, you can start the music up and, and listen to it, but then when you actually start working, it will not play the music that you selected. It'll play the regular crate moving music, so... It's not that useful in my opinion. I kind of wish they had uh, programmed that a little better. But it is what it is, right? It's nice to know that that option is there, because it's a reliable source of money, unlike most other things. So that's on floor one. Now, if we come up here to floor six, there's a couple other interesting spots located in this building that... One of these doesn't really serve any purpose, as far as I know, but it's cool that it's here. There's a lot of shops up here. Rare antiques, superior clothing. As far as I'm aware, you can't actually buy anything from any of them. But there's NPCs, and there's things to look at. It's just stuck up here for no good reason at all, really. And then down this hall, there's Tiger Gate Kung Fu. Which is a Kung Fu school, just hanging out and operating up here on the sixth floor. Looks a lot like the guys who practiced at a uh, at school back in Aberdeen, Zong Zong Shui, I can't remember the guy's name. And uh, we can talk to the master here. There's really no point. He doesn't really tell you anything except for like, well, let's see. すいません。もしや恩師かの。え？弟子が偶然ストリートファイトを覗いたときに。偉く強い若者を見かけたと言っておった。ああ。見慣れぬ顔で中国憲法とは違う技を使っていたとか。なぜ俺だと。お主の身のこなしは武術家のものじゃ。そして見慣れぬ顔となればすぐに想像がつく
not much to be done, but take the stairs, honestly, because the elevator is very useless. No, no, no. Eighth floor is perfect. And let's see if I can find it. Aha, you guys recognize that symbol? Looks like the gambling symbol. Bronze room. So up here we have even more NPCs, fully voiced and all that good stuff, but don't really tell you anything useful. And we have some lucky hit stands that frankly don't really look like anything amazing. It's five bucks a pop, but we can win pretty much all the same toys that we've been winning up until this point. So, I don't know, it's a neat little place to come and play some Lucky Hit if you're up here anyway, but <laughs> it's uh, not something that is going to win you anything unique or interesting, really. Let's continue exploring by moving up to floor 10. Ten F. Oh, damn it. Rio keeps like automatically just gliding towards the stairs when I don't mean to. So, all right, if we move down this hallway here. Oh, what's this? Another gambling spot. And this is the silver room. Are you guys detecting a pattern? More NPCs. All fully voiced. Again, nothing really unique. And more lucky hit boards. Five dollars a pop. Looks like most of the same stuff. Again, <laughs> nothing really unique. I mean, there's some there's some rare stuff up here, but not really stuff that you can't get anywhere else. Or from, you know, not anywhere else, but from other places as well. So that is the silver room. And now our tour will take us all the way up to floor 12. Definitely detecting a pattern here. <laughs> And this is actually the top floor on this building. Oh, and look, another gambling spot. Well, this has got to be the gold room, right? Bronze, silver, gold? Nope, you're wrong. It's the Dural room. It's the Dural room. Dural room, that's hard to say. So if you come all the way up here, you've got more lucky hit boards, more NPCs. And again, none of this stuff looks like something that you can't get at other places. You got a gold Dural figure there and some dice, which is relatively rare. You know, you've got Kage, you've got Silver Doral over there. So it's it's relatively rare stuff, but again, just nothing unique as far as I'm aware. But if you're interested in like playing a whole bunch of Lucky Hit and winning those weird Doral figures and other things like that, this isn't a bad place to come. Let's see, this will take me from floor 12 all the way down to B1. Okay, I wonder if I can get up from B1. I probably can't. I should probably go to floor 3. But you know what, let's go down and check out B1, just for the funsies of it. Even though the elevator takes a realistically long time to get up to floor 12, this is probably still a little bit faster. So let's check this out. We're about to hit sundown at 7 o'clock. I think we can actually get there a little later. I think as long as we get to Dragon Street anytime during the night, we'll be fine for our meeting with the scout. Alright, so B1 of the Thousand White Building. Let's see what's down here. The stairs are blocked off, so we can't take those back up, of course. But let's just explore not a huge area. We can cover this quickly. More magic rooms. Oh, what is this? There's a secret underground B2. With a red door? Oh, cock blocked. Secret red door in underground B2 won't open, guys. We'll have to come back to that later. Alright, at this point, I have really nothing more to show you guys, either in this building or in Kowloon in general. Frankly, I've mentioned a bunch of times how there's just not a ton of side stuff here. And I can't really think of anything else that's super duper interesting. Well, there is one thing, but we'll hit that 
as we progress through the story. But yeah, from this point on, guys, we're going to be kind of just mainlining our way through the story. We're pretty close to the end of this game. Well, we're not super close. I don't want to mislead you. There's, there's a fair amount of game left. But from this point on, it does pick up a little in intensity. And it's just... It's just really amazing. There's uh, there's stuff that goes down that we're coming up on that uh, is pretty. It's it tends to be most people's favorite parts of the of the whole series. Let's just put it that way. There's just whew, I gotta I gotta stop. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. I'm just getting so excited that we're getting to the parts in this game that we are. I've been looking forward to this for so long, and we're finally almost there. Okay, we actually did this pretty much right on time. Look at this. We're here at Dragon Street right at 7 o'clock. I honestly don't think I could have planned that out any more perfectly. Alright, let's go look for the scout. And I hear a Chinese... Fiddle, which means our buddy Kai is hanging out here. What's up, dude? Hello. Hello.レイのスカウトマンに会いました。おお、それは良かった。スカウトマンがリュウエイガイに来いと。仮にも相手は好展開です。くれぐれも油断せぬよう。わかりました。ありがとうございます。Thanks a lot, man. I don't know how that guy really knows about the yellow head and the scout and all that stuff. He must be involved in stuff that I wasn't aware of. Hmm. Defeat these three people. We've got Greg, Rod, and Chunya. Very, very interesting. What? What? Huh, what? There were kids here the whole time. Hey, you kids didn't see anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's ask this little girl about Greg. Yeah, okay. Hey, listen. You can tell anybody what you saw, and I'm going to throw you off this cliff right here. You got that? You know what's interesting? Those are the same little kids from the beginning of the game. I don't know what they're doing here. That kid in the blue right there? He was he was right there, like when we stepped off the boat. Uh okay. Are you the old man in the drugstore? I don't feel like talking to you. You know who we actually can talk to? Uh who's a pretty good source of information about these people. Is uh Cool Z right here. Yeah. E. Wasn't actually trying to talk to him about a job. Um, stop that. Stupid context-sensitive conversations. So, we can actually go in here and look at the photos that we got of these people. Um, they are... Event photos. That's the photo of the scout that we got from Kai. This is Rod's stunt. He's like a... Well, a stuntman. <laughs> this is Greg Moore. He's like a biker kind of dude. Looks pretty beefy. And then Chunyan, who's like a... got kind of a hot cowgirl thing going on. But, you know, they almost be pretty deadly fighters if the scout wants me to take them on. Let's ask Oi. Cool Z here about... Oi. 
うん、オッケー。オッケー。ハウアバウトグレッグ。この男を知らないか。グレッグモアじゃねえか。こいつ強いぜ。どこにいる?屋台街の外れにある清流庭園で戦ってるぜ。清流庭園。屋台街に出た